All right, guys. Now I'm gonna show you something special. Look, this is a big pencil I got from Florida, Saint Petersburg, Salvador Dali Museum. But anyway, that's beside the point. I'm gonna show you how to solve this um, a problem word problem with linear uh, expectation expectance linear. Uh, we're gonna use slopes, uh, linear equations. Sorry about my slurping. Let's get started. So, as we can see, in 1970, the life expectancy of American was 67. In 1990, was 72. So, assuming its expectancy is linear function, predict the life expectancy of an American male in 2020. So, what we're gonna do, the number one year we're gonna use as a zero. So, imagine you have a function, alright? So, we're gonna make 19. Oh, this actually is not convenient to write with. Let's get my FedEx Kinko's pen. Oh, by the way, look, I got this pencil too. Stay sharp. Yeah. Alright. Where did I got this one? Uh, Workman Publishing. Brain Boosters. Or oh, whatever. Alright, so... 90, 70 is gonna be zero. And then... We are gonna have... Uh, 90, 90... Is going to be... 20 years later is gonna be 20. So, zero, and this, uh, oh my goodness, I wrote too big of a number, 90, 90, zero, right here, mm. and then, uh, we have, uh, a, we have to determine now the slope, so, as you may know, the slope formula is, at E2 minus E1 divided by X2 minus X1. So, uh, we, here we have our X's, right? X1, X2, and uh, here in Y axis, we have our Y's, okay? So, our Y is going to be the first Y is, um, what is, was the age? Uh, 67 and then 72. So, uh, this is gonna be, uh, 67. 67. And, uh, this is gonna be 72. 72. And then, as we can see, uh, this is our slope. And, on uh, and, um, we determine the slope uh, by, now we can see the slope, but we don't know yet what is the angle, what is the uh, the numbers. So, y2, we're going to have 72, this is y2, this is y1, okay, this is 72, if we put it right here, and then boom, 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 and this is 0, and boom, boom, boom. 72 minus 67 divided by 20 minus a 0. And we uh, get in the next line 5 minus 20. We get this is 5, right? Uh, and we simplify uh, division by 5. We get 1 fourth. Alright. Why do I talk like a Chinese person? <laughs> okay, I don't know. So it wouldn't be so boring for ya. Okay, so now we have our slope is one fourth, and we can express our equation is uh, y equals one fourth x. Uh, plus 67. Okay. Um, 
you know, because that's how it is. You know, um, we get um, our M is 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 equal as we already mentioned here before y2 minus y1 equals x2 minus x1 you see so now we have we found that by using these known points that our m was one fourth so we got one fourth equals um we put in, let's say, we choose 0 and 67. So this would be, um, this would be uh, x minus 0, and this would be e minus 67, because we chose 1, 1, 1. And then, you know, we want to express this as a linear equation, so we put this right here, and then we get, Oh, oh my God! What I this has gotta be the other way around. Uh, let me not disturb you. Let us write it like this: sixty-seven divided by x minus zero. So, and then we get Cholita. We get minus four x minus zero equal my y minus sixty-seven. And uh, as you can see, this is zero goes away, and our final answer is one four x equals y y minus sixty seven or it's not final yet y equals. 1, 4, plus 67. We put this right here into this side. You got it? So, yeah. It's pretty easy. I hope you... Uh, this was helpful. How to find... How to solve word problem with linear equations. You know, you um, use the words given and you find the unknown... And then you just express it like linear equation. That's if that's what's the problem asking you. Peace out, let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe and thumbs up. Bye.